Hi, this is Ted with PackRatings.com. Today I want to talk about my home security planning. Uh, my house has large windows and it's just your average uh, uh, in the city home. You know, I have a decent sized yard, uh, it's all fenced, uh, but it's not uh, Fort Knox. It's, you know, it's a house. So I was thinking about what could I do to help secure the house. So uh, one of the first things I thought of was uh, defense. So perhaps getting uh, some bear spray uh, as a uh, bulk means of defense and uh, pepper spray for uh, everyday carry types of things. Um, another uh, idea I had was to set up uh, battery powered uh, motion sensor alarms. These are your type of alarm that uh, will often be marketed as a driveway uh, alarm to let you know that somebody has just entered your driveway. So I figured uh, these could be used in the backyard side of the house, you know, places where there normally isn't foot traffic, but if somebody were trying to be sneaky, they would probably go. Um, then uh, I'd probably want to consider uh, various types of door jams. So uh, this was one that uh, is easily movable from uh, one door to another. It uh, works like your basic uh, industrial doorstop. Uh, security bars are interesting. They uh, jam the door uh, at the uh, doorknob, which is nice. Uh, they're also dual function, so they can uh, brace sliding doors and sliding windows as well. Uh, this one looks really promising. This is uh, the uh, door barricade, and uh, the metal piece slides in and out, and it is uh, pretty much attached uh, to the floor and blocks the door. So you can only lock it while you're inside. Uh, but it looks like it would be very effective bracing the door with the floor. Most of the time people kick in a door and they just break uh, the, the door jam because it's you know usually a one by two or something not uh, too secure. Uh, but bracing a door into a wooden floor uh, would definitely be a lot stronger. And then uh, door bar. This one is uh, based on putting uh, very long screws into the framing of the house and then uh, barring the door with an aluminum bar. Uh, that would be quite strong. It would be very difficult to kick in a door with one of those. Uh, one thing that I found uh, really amazing is the security window film. Uh, particularly the 12 millimeter. It's the highest protection and it's uh, known for stopping robbery attempts, uh, you know, household accidents, uh, hurricane storm damage, uh, and it's even been used for uh, ex explosion safety. And the way it works is you put this film on the inside of your windows and uh, you secure it to the framing or underneath the framing. And uh, when people go and smash the window, the glass breaks, but the security film holds all the glass in place and keeps the window in place. So you can repeatedly uh, hit the window with a crowbar and it's just not going anywhere. Of course, you'd need to get uh, uh, some industrial silicone uh, for that and an installation kit. Um, the last thing uh, that I stumbled across were these oversized locks. And my thought on this is to uh, use two of them uh, to secure the garage door uh, in the down position uh, when I need it to be. Uh, so I figured it would be a way of uh, shoring up security on the garage door. Well, be sure to let me know uh, what I missed. I'm positive I've overlooked a lot and a number of the things I came up with could probably be done better or cheaper. So uh, give me some comments, let me know what you think. Uh, I'll put a link uh, to this list below so you can uh, go and see it on the web and click the links and dig deeper uh, into what these products are. Uh, thanks again.